Hello all, Havoc here. Alright, so last episode, we did a thing. We're now 11 and a half clicks above uh, our base. It's down there somewhere. I'm uh, gonna do some GPS modifications. Delete magnesium. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. And the start, we're gonna, we're gonna keep, so. Um, and home. Why are you still... Am I gonna have to go down there to turn those all off? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so, the plan. I wanna build a space station. I'm sure you guys were caught up on that idea. The idea is is that the space station is going to be 100 percent modules. I'm going to build the module, go over to... Can you literally see a tribute from here? Oh, that's an entire base. Remember I painted that whole base, right? Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the modules here and then the station is going to be built right above us, and we're going to uh, start from the core of the station and build outward using those modules. And each module will get blueprinted and saved. So if I want, let's say, a tunnel to connect two sections of the station, I just pull up the blueprint for the tunnel, move a projection over to that area, and then fire it up. That's the plan, and I've been wanting to do something like this for quite a while. I just haven't had, just, yeah, it just it just hasn't worked out. But now, we need a station, and that's how I want to build it. So there's some things I want to work out. We're just going to do it by working, like, right here on the deck. Um, I want to get some basic premises. Um... Retro. We're gonna go with like a gray. No. Yeah. Something about like that. Give it a little bit of a blue tint to it, maybe. Yeah, I like it. All right. So this is our our block we're gonna work with. Uh, kind of sucks that the sun's down there. Uh, let's move you. That would help a little bit. I use you for lighting. So. Alright. So then we're also going to have to pay attention to where the bad guys inevitably are going to come from. Because... As bad guys start showing up, I need to start putting up point defense to help us out with that. So for now, we're just going to take a day it in and go fly towards them and dispatch them before they get close to us. That's the idea. Um, you know what? I did not check. Are point defenses even on? They are all off. So, yeah, so if I'm not paying attention, oh man, that new landing gear it's coming is going to make this ship look so much better. Oh, I can't wait. All right, all the guns are back on. Let's hit the med bay while we're here. There we go. Okay. So, let's build some stuff. Um, so, the first thing I want to figure out is how big I want 
basically each one of the docking rigs to be. So start like that. Nobody wants to weld that? That's fine. I'm okay with that. All right, so we're gonna go like this. And let's say this is the start to our outer part of the hull. All right. Then, so I'm thinking five wide, but I want five wide for the inside. Well, you know what would help? Yeah, buddy. So if we come up in here, so there's five wide for the inside, right? And if we did this, I have no idea why nobody's welding anything. That's kind of scary. Okay. Well, we're in range of that one. All right. Oh, because all the real resources are in this guy. That's why. That's fine. So, and then we do three blocks tall for the inside. Then we mirrored it over again. So the middle of the hallway would be right here. So we're going to do three triangles in the corner? Yeah. Like so. So that would be the internal corridor for the station. Like that. That's not bad. I mean, we could build rovers and, and whatnot to drive down the hallways and, and all that kind of shenanigans. So that's our footprint for a tunnel. Let's give you guys an idea of where we're going with for size. Um, so then you're going to be how tall? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. See here. What? Uh. Grab us some steel plates here. There we go. Better. There we go. And that would be the outer ring. So inner and outer ring, because I plan on putting uh, tubes and, and things going through the outer ring, all four, cor all four sides are gonna have tubes. So come over here. So if we did something like this, and then we'd run 
a tube back from there, however long. Like this, this specific uh, section, I would imagine being a long tube long. And if I wanted another one, I just literally would move it back and put another section in place. Um, inside of these here, let's say if I wanted to have a really long one of these, I could put a bob right here and right here. So the bobs could be right in the middle of this conveyor section. So um, I wonder, can I build airlocks on these? Where's the big door? Gate. That's it. Just hypothetically. No. It's too small. How about the big one? This guy. Oh, it's an odd number. I mean, an even number. So we'd have to build. We'd have to build a specific entrance just to use this but it's totally feasible we could take out the inner ring and this would fit in the outer ring and we could use this for uh, landing small craft inside of a hangar that's that's totally possible All right, so we could take this back out now. Put this in. Something like that. So now I gotta greeble it. So the top and the bottom I want to be flat block. So like this goes like this. We know that. So I can make one, I can consider this to be a medium. And then I can make a, a longer one. I can literally take and project, once I get this one finished, project, turn it around 180 degrees, project it onto the back of this one. And then without these, could have two long tubes connected to each other and connect those, project that, let that weld out, and then re-blueprint that as a long one. And then we can do a short, or yeah, maybe a short where we could use the smaller tube, which is thusly. So we can use that as a short. Yeah, I like this. All right, so now we just need to get this finished out. Uh, so let's go here, here. Why is it not mirroring anymore? That was weird. I think one of those blocks weren't connected or something.
So how many were coming out on the top? Uh, that's three, okay. One, two, so it's five on the sides. Why isn't it mirroring? Like it mirrored one block. That's shenanigans, I'm telling you. All right, so, and then from here over, I'm gonna do this. This. And then I'm gonna put the interior blocks in here. that away this guy right here actually I think I'm fine with the single because I'm gonna do more than just this why did it not wait what Okay, I think their level of detail is kind of kind of janky on that. That's really weird. Okay, so I need to move you a little bit. That gives me a chance to charge my suit while I'm at it. I don't really care how much of this gets welded because it's just going to get tore apart anyway. But I want to get this configuration figured out. I need to figure out what the the dock is going to be basically for each module to each other. So if I build the center core of the station, I need to know what I'm building off of that center core. What each room inevitably will have to terminate into. So. That's where this becomes important. It also becomes important that things actually finish what they're supposed to be building. It's kind of annoying a little bit. All right. Oh, get in there. Did I mess up somewhere? Yep, I did. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I'm short one block here. Come on now. There we go. Oh, come on.
All right, so there's that. Looking kind of stylish. I can get behind this. Uh, we can throw uh, windows in as well. Or not. I mean, I, I don't really care so much about windows. It's not like I'm going to see one of my buddies flying around in a ship next to me, you know, next to the station. So now if there was more activity in what was going on around us, I would definitely want to put windows, but that's not a thing in this game. So, all right. So that's that. Now for our sides, I want to do some Greeble. And I think I want to do a touch of this. So two of you, one of you, two of you, one of you. Come on, please work out. Yeah, it works. Sweet. All right, so let's do that again here. And boom. All right, this is definitely coming together. We can also do uh, how we did on the top side of the base. We can paint stripes or use the uh, the lights, the LED light strips to convey where we're needing to go for different things. So that'll be a thing. Uh, the roof should be the same as the floor because um, gravity, there's no, or in space, there's no real up. So that would give us a nice little uh, universal. We can rotate these end for end and it's not going to matter. Being symmetrical is a plus for sure. Okay, so that's that. And we need to fill in this one too, okay. All right, looking good. Come back to here. Single light. Make sure it's facing the right way. Because it wasn't. So now for this section, I think what I want to do is do um, some shenanigans with, is this heavier light? This is heavy. I don't want heavy armor. I'm going to do that. And that. I really don't think I'm going to use these, but still. Um, so I want to do is like that. I think. I'd like to see what that looks like, please. And I think I want to do that where the lights are. And then 
these ones can get full blocks. Maybe. No, because it's two blocks wide, let's use that. Um, let's go ahead and put six, this guy. Yeah. Being it's two blocks wide. Oh, come on, Havoc. Like that. Yeah, I can get behind that. All right, so let's go ahead and put four. So we're gonna go here, 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 and here. Right? Yeah. Symmetry mode for the win. Six. Uh, the big thing I'm, I'm loving about this is that I only have to do this once. Make this tunnel one time and everywhere else I use it, it's just going to just be there. Hi, how you doing? Because... We just blueprint it over and over and over again. So that goes like that. Those didn't copy. I don't understand why it's being this way. <sighs> Symmetry mode is failing me and I'm relying on it. Oh, well, this is gonna get old fast if this continues to do this. Oh, they already got it? No, they didn't. Okay. All right, so back to here. I'm not set on this color. I just picked this color for the sake of building today. Uh, probably going to go for a, a grayer, a, a more lighter, brighter color. But, like no adjusting a light or anything, this looks pretty good. But once you change the armor skin too, it's going to change the lighting. All right, I'm pretty comfortable how the interior looks. Gonna have to get the exterior going here soon too. But in any case, the, the like I said, the main goal was to figure out how big this opening was gonna be. Because now that I have that nailed down, I can start working on the actual station itself. Um, the main core, the hub. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do in our next episode for it. But for now, this is turning out pretty good. Like I said, it's, it's going to all come together pretty quickly because once I start getting modules printed, or figured out at least, what? Oh. That's great. So those guns are obviously off because they're closed. Um, once we start getting modules figured out and the main part of the station built, uh, it's just a lot of printing. And just continuing to modify the modules and expand them into different configurations. Like I build one hangar, I'll build a single hangar and then just line them up to to do it that way. That kind of shenanigans. And once we have one built, let's say we have this built, I can modify this to become different things. Like I said, 
to making a longer version of this is just literally taking this blueprint, mirroring it on itself, sliding it onto the end, and now we have a longer tunnel, and I only have to do the work once. So, a little bit uh, quicker manipulation of, of resources, and we'll be able to get the station built relatively quick, I think. So I appreciate you guys coming out and supporting the channel. Don't forget to leave a comment. I really do enjoy reading them. Let's move up over here. Not getting any light, but that's fine. Get this, get this welded up so it looks good, I guess. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.